Hi, I'm Monica Traphagen with the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, Utah. This is a weather briefing about the tropical moisture surge that will be impacting Utah during the early part of the week. This briefing was created on September 6, 2014 and should not be used after September 7th. So tropical moisture is coming for the state. It will result in widespread rainfall for central and southern Utah Sunday night through Tuesday, with scattered showers and thunderstorms over northern Utah Monday and Tuesday. The rain may cause flooding in slot canyons, dry washes, and overburn scars. High flows are also possible on rivers and streams. It may also result in travel difficulties along backcountry roads. Let's take a look at the situation in a bit more detail. The picture on the left is a satellite image from this afternoon. It shows Hurricane Norbert in the Pacific. The system will continue northward, making landfall over Baja California as it weakens into a remnant low. As this happens, some moisture associated with the system will be drawn northward into the southwest United States. This tropical moisture will reach southern Utah Sunday evening before spreading northward on Monday. With this scenario, we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms developing over southern Utah as early as Sunday afternoon. As the moisture continues to move into the state, rain will become widespread over central and southern Utah Sunday night and Monday. The rain will continue into Tuesday. With the moisture moving farther northward still, we'll see scattered showers move into northern Utah Monday and Tuesday. Here are our expected rainfall totals for the event between Sunday night and Tuesday. We think most of central and southern Utah has the potential to receive 1 to 3 inches of rain. Southwest Utah is currently expected to be the hardest hit, with 2 to 4 inches of rainfall possible. Over northern Utah, the rain will be more scattered in nature. However, locally heavy rainfall is possible. The widespread rain will produce a few impacts. First, flooding is possible, particularly on burn scars and in slot canyons and normally dry washes. The rain will also cause high flows to develop on rivers and streams. Finally, we could see travel difficulties on backcountry roads. To summarize, moisture associated with the weakening Hurricane Norbert will move into central and southern Utah Sunday through Tuesday. This increase in moisture will result in widespread rain over central and southern Utah, with scattered showers and thunderstorms possible over northern Utah. Flooding is possible due to the rain, and travel on backcountry roads may also become difficult. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email. You can also like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter.